Hi, this is Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and this video continues from last week's video where we had a magnetic field of 17.7 microteslas north and 4.6 microteslas to the west, and I had a 50 microcoulomb charge going 350 meters per second to the east, and I had to find the magnetic force on that charge. And in the previous video, which you can find a link to in the description, I used the vector components. And in this case, for this problem, that's easier because we're given the vector components for the magnetic field B, both in terms of north and west, and then the velocity V, which is east. And these work out really well with an XY axis. Another approach is to use a different form of the same equation where you essentially break it down into the magnitude and direction. So the magnitude from the vector cross product comes from Q, V, B, sine theta, where theta is the angle between V and B. If you remember, we had the velocity off to the right, when it was east, and we had the magnetic field up and to the left, that was west of north, we had 17.7 microteslas up and we had 4.6 microteslas to the left. We can find that the angle between north and the magnetic field is going to be 14.6 degrees. In order to use this equation, we also need to know the overall magnitude of the magnetic field, which again comes from Pythagorean theorem, and we get 18.3 microteslas. So then when we're using this equation, and remember we're starting by finding the magnitude, uh, we actually can consider the magnitude first and then we'll look at the direction separately. So when we're using this equation, we need to substitute in. So we have our 50 microcoulombs for the charge. The velocity was given as 350 meters per second. The magnetic field is 18.3 microteslas. And then we just need to consider the angle between V and B. And it's really tempting. I've seen many students at this point say, well, we just calculated theta was 14.6. But the angle that fits into this equation is actually the entire angle. Maybe I'll call it theta prime between V and B. So I need to actually consider that there's 90 degrees already between east and north and then add 14.6, and 90 plus 14.6 gives me 104.6 degrees. When I solve for that, then I get 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. For the direction, I need to use the right-hand rule. We have the vector cross product of V cross B. The velocity was to the right, magnetic field is up and to the left. When you're applying the right-hand rule, you use your right hand, and you start I start with an open-faced, like a, a knife edge palm, so my, my fingers are flat. Start with your fingers along the velocity. Then curl your fingers towards B. If you follow along with this while watching the video, you would have your right hand pointing off to your right with your palm up, and then curl your fingers up in a counterclockwise motion until they're pointing more or less up and to the left, and your thumb should then be pointing out of the screen. Whenever we're working with three-dimensional things on two-dimensional paper, or even the two-dimensional screen, often we'll show vectors coming in, out of, in and out of the screen uh, in different ways. And so to show a vector coming out of the screen, we'll draw a dot with a circle around it. And so that would be the direction of the magnetic force. And that's also the direction my thumb is, is going. If I wanted to show something going into the screen, I'll just maybe draw that off to the side. Into the screen would be, say, negative FB would be an X or a cross with a circle around it. And that would, again, just show the direction going into the screen. This right-hand rule also corresponds to our axes. If we have X to the right and Y up, then Z would come out of the screen as shown. When we put these two things together then, the right-hand rule tells me that the direction of the force is out of the screen. The magnitude told me that the magnitude of the force was 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. I can put those two things together. It turns out that k hat is out of the screen. So that's one way to write it, which is exactly the same as what we had before, 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7 k hat. Another way to write this, if you don't want to use unit vectors, is to just talk about the direction in words. So we could say the force is 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. 
and I could write out of the screen. Or in this case, because the directions were given with respect to the, the compass rows, northeast, southwest, the direction up corresponds to out of the page. Because when you're looking at the compass rows like this, it kind of presumes that you're looking from a bird's eye view. You're looking down on the ground. So something to that comes towards you out of the screen or off the paper is then up from the ground. So I could really just at this point say the direction is up, and that's perfectly good. I'm Scott Redmond, and I help students pass physics. If this video was helpful to you, please like it in YouTube to let me know.